Hi friends, I am very happy to be with you once again. Why I am happy means because I am going to end up the nationalism in India with the last topic. And so many videos we have made with a detailed description. And anyway, we are concluding this chapter with the last topic that is the major factors which promoted the sense of nationalism how we had a sense of nationalism here i have come with some questions which can be asked or which already asked by the cbsc so let us have a glance on these questions how did bankim chandra chatyobadhyay create a spirit of motherland or a nationalism the growth of nationalism associated with the image of bharat mata how how was the tricolor flag designed during the swadeshi movement to create the spirit of nationalism nationalism how the idea or feeling of nationalism was created through interpretation of or revival of indian history so the last topic of our nationalism in india my dear friends very important you have to go through then there are so many questions also i am showing you but only one thing this different questions are there these all are the how bengim chandra chatyobadi and everything they are going to come in the answer then you will understand that it is what is the role they have played and why his name came or anything what or maybe anyway one thing you keep in your mind how this love towards the nation made what all are the techniques we have used in order to bring the national feeling among the people love towards our nation the sense of nationalism came how did it or how we try to inculcate among the people of india which all are the steps we have used in order to inculcate this idea of nation or national sent nation national sentiments among the people that you keep then you go ahead with this video then you will understand the sense of collective belonging came partly through the experience of united struggle we had a sense of collective or belonging it was through or how we felt we are as united one or united indians or bharat mata ki je india is my country these all are the feeling started to come how because we had a party through experience a collective experience we have a collective belonging came because we have come together with so many steps we have seen and united struggles but we were also a variety of cultural process through which national captured the people's imagination so don't think that it is only because of this non cooperation movement only because of the civil disobedient movement or any quit india movement or any khilafat movement that is only the reason that united the people of india no no there are so many other things also are there united the people of india we are discussing in this chapter or in this video that what all are the things made or nurtured this national feeling more than this movements we had civil disobedience non cooperation that all the things which we have discussed after discussing that it is there are some other things are there which inculcated the national feeling or brought the national feeling among the minds of people such as we can see that it is how these people's imagination worked out there are some second point you see history and fiction folklore songs popular pins and symbols played a part in making the nationalism you see now you have to connect with the topic of the romanticism in the europe we have seen that it is the nationalism in europe we have discussed there that it is a romanticism we have discussed it was a cultural movement which sought to develop the national feeling that was the romanticism that means simply we can see that we were also inspired from the french revolution we were also inspired by the romantic feeling or romanticism which started in the european countries literally we have also started the romanticism here in india in order to bring about the national feeling in order to bring the love towards our nation through folklore folk songs popular stories symbols and everything so 
first one you have to remember that it is not only the collective struggle or anything made unity but also some other cultural process which all are the cultural process we have started to give more importance the history fiction folklore folk stories and everything then you can see that it was in the 20th century with the growth of nationalism that the identity of india came to be visually associated with the image so from the 1920s onwards or 20th century we can see that it is our nation started to be visualized through the images already we have discussed some of the images which visualized some countries marianne we have seen which visualized the france germania we have seen which visualized the germany and the symbols and the things which they have kept in their hand and all the symbolic meaning we have gone through then we could understand that how systematically how bravely they have designed or how they have come with the notion or how they have spoke towards us about how the visually they have associated their nation through an image so we had also one image or we are also having one image which design or which associate visually associate our nation what is our nation which is associated with the image that image is bharat mata so remember then it is other cultural process and the folk stories folk songs and everything and we had as our nationalism was also associated with a image that was bharat mata then when we discuss about the bharat mata we should know something about the bharat mata the first bharat mata the image was first created by bengim chandra chatyobhati the first bharat mata was created or designed by bengim chandra chatyobhati in 1870s he wrote vande mataram so he has designed the bharat mata for us and after designing the bharat mata for us he has written the wonderful patriotic song vande mataram still we are everywhere everywhere in the wherever the feeling of nation and we need to propagate or we need to share the feeling of our nation still we are using this song the vande mataram which was written by the bangim chandra chatyobadhyay he has designed the first bharat mata later it was included in his novel so after writing this vande mataram song he has included this song with his famous novel that is anandamad in the novel anandamad he has included this song why he has included you know by that time those times this people were very fond of reading the uh, novels nowadays you may be having how much you are fond of playing some of the video games watching some of the serials watching some of the movies such a way the people were very fond of reading the novels at that time novels were very famous and the popular among the people so bankin chandra chatyobadhyay understood that it is in order to bring or in order to popularize my song it is better to print or it is to better to publish through a novel so he has published this vande mataram through his novel anandamath and it was widely sung during the swadeshi movement in bengal everywhere wherever the movements and the swadeshi movement or non cooperation movement or civil disobedience movement or anywhere these people were singing this song from the bottom of their heart that itself made the national feeling you also feel that it is when you are celebrating the independence day in your school and after having the speech of your headmaster or headmistress or principal or anything when you sing this song or when the flag hosting and everything after having when you are having the patriotic song and everything something a national feeling or something it will come to you also then you can imagine what was the imagination or what was the feeling at that time or inspiration which they have got so bangin chandra chatyobadhyay and his bharat mata and at the same time his song vande mataram plus the novel anandamath you remember then we can see that moved by the swadeshi movement abhinendran tagore painted his famous image of bharat mata with some different changes and everything this abhinendran tagore in the swadeshi movement during the time of the swadeshi movement abhinendran tagore come with his famous bharat mata much differences are not there in the previous one the chandrabhat chatyobadhi and this abhinendran tagore he has come with the famous image of bharat mata so when we go through the bharat mata and the painting of image of father this 
पेंटिंग भारत माता इज पोर्ट्रेड आस ए एसेटिक फिगर शी इज वेरी काम कम्पोज डिवाइन एंड स्पिरिचुअल यू सी देर आई थिंक फाइव टू सिक्स इयर्स बिफोर देर वॉज ए क्वेश्चन वॉज देर ए कंपेरिटिव स्टडी बिटवीन भारत माता एंड जर्मानिया मेक ए कंपेरिटिव स्टडी बिटवीन भारत माता एंड जर्मानिया सो इट वॉज अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन एस इट इज मेनी ऑफ द पीपल और सम पीपल वेर गेट शॉक्ड बाय seeing that question so this year you should not get shocked by hearing that question or seeing that question a comparative study between the bharat mata and as well as the germania germania already we have discussed we had a particular video only for germania we have discussed on what the germania speaks about their nation what symbolizes each and everything which she was carrying when we look into germania you can see that she is a very heroic figure very much majestic figure you can see that she is very heroic how she is having a such a majestic dress and she is carrying the sword she is having a crown like that like that you can see that but our bharat mata you can see this very simple very calm and divine and the spiritual so when you see that it is when the this germania was carrying the sword in her hand it symbolizes ready to fight and only you branch around the sword we have seen that it is ready to make the treaty peace so like that our bharat mata is also having four hands and she is also carrying certain things which you should keep in your mind which all are the things what she symbolizes by this all the things so then you can make a comparative study with the when we discuss this about the bharat mata then already which we have discussed about the germania you will compare you will make the comparison and you will make the answer very simply so she is having uh, the one hand you can see that the palm leaves are there something is written and the palm leaves are she is carrying why she is carrying what does it symbolizes she symbolizes this image symbolizes that why the palm leaves that it is wisdom to everyone education to everyone she is not like our uh, uh, germania ready to fight or a heroic figure or majestic figure is not shown here she is very simple very calm she is carrying some palm leaves in her hand and she is promising that it is education for everyone wisdom for every people of that country we speak such a way that is a difference which we are finding and in another hand she can we can see that it is some crops she has keeping in her hand that crop she is keeping by because it promises that food for everyone food for there should not be no one will be dying or no one will be in our country hungry food for everyone on another hand you can see that it is she is carrying a piece of cloth cloth for everyone it is a basic needs of livelihood food cloth so it is promising or the nation is promising our nation symbolizes that this being a india as a nation we promise the education we promise food for everything everyone and we promise clothes for everyone and the she is having a mala that is the spirit, spiritual life an ascetic look we are spiritual we are divine we are not majestic germania is standing in a such a way that it is she is ready, ready to fight but we are not in we are very divine we are very spiritual our notion is a spiritual so that is the way he has come with the second bharat mata that it is you keep in your mind after this explanation i hope that you understood that it is what is to be written in between when you make the comparative study or comparison between bharat mata and germania how the way i hope you will write and everything anyway continue with our national feeling how we have more than this movements and everything how we could make the national feeling among the people we were discussing and uh, already we, we have discussed certain things which we have discussed uh, we will be going back something some of the thing the collective a fort which we have made and the folk song folk stories and we have seen that it is the identity through the bharat mata we have designed the bharat mata first bharat mata and vande madram which was included in the novel uh, that it is anandamath then again we have 
moved by the Swadeshi movement and everything. Abhinendranath Tagore, not Rabindranath Tagore, not Rabindranath Tagore, Abhinendranath Tagore designed the second Bharat Mata and she was very calm and divine and we will be moving. In late 19th century, Indian nationalists began recording folk songs. Now you see the national feeling, not only the, this movement, we can generate this national feeling. The love towards the nation can be generated. How it can be generated? Through the folk song, through folk stories, heroic stories and heroic victorious novels and everything. So they started to collect so many folk songs, folk stories and this and they were asked to our villages to gather folk songs and for so many freedom fighters and Somali activists, they were passing through or they were going through the different different villages, staying with the villagers and they were asking for them folk songs and folk tales and everything. They have written it, write it up and they have brought it and they start to publish it and they have brought around. So these all are the folk songs and folk stories are to be collected and they have started to be published it. Then this made a very big national feeling among the people once they have started to go through these national stories and musics and everything. These tales they believed gave true picture of the traditional culture. When they have started to go these musics and traditional folk song, folk stories and everything, the people understood or they could have a true picture on their traditional culture. Really what was our culture? What changed by these Britishers? How these Britishers influence came into our culture and everything, they could really realize once they could collect or they started to collect these old strong stories and everything. So in Bengal, Rabindranath Tagore himself began collecting the ballads, nursery rhymes and so many things and everything. So the one thing we can remember that in this slide that it is even the freedom fighters and everything in order to bring the national sentiment among the people, they started to collect so many uh, traditional these folk song, folk stories and everything in order to bring the true picture of their tradition and the culture. So example, Rabindranath Tagore we have seen, he has collected and next to example in Madras, Nadesh Shastri a published a massive four volume of collection of Tamil folk tales, the folklore of southern India. So Natesha Shastri he has made or he has come with a uh, published a massive four volume of Tamil folk tales. So very huge four volume of the Tamil folk tales. It is known as the folklore of southern India. This book was uh, printed or the published by him with so many tales, folk tales and everything which inspired the people, which uh, brought the real culture of the Tamilians and everything. So he was the part of this making the this national feeling among the people. Then we can see that the during the Swadeshi movement or the in Bengal, in Bengal tricolor flag was designed. See, I have told you many times in different videos also we have discussed that it is the flag is itself is the speak about the nation. Once a nation is to be united or once a nation is taking birth, uh, the flag was that is why in the Frederick Sorio's picture in the European nationalism we have seen the people those who were marching towards the Statue of Liberty, they were having a flag that means they were liberated or they were having a, their own nation. So when we wanted to be liberated from the British domination and we wanted to show ours of the nation dominated or the freed nation, we need to have a tricolor or flag, tricolor or anything whatever may be. So we have decided during the Swadeshi movement when the agitations and the struggles were going on in order to have the feeling among the people, we had a tricolor flag. The first tricolor flag was having red, green and yellow was there. You can see this was the first national flag or flag which we had. It had eight lotuses there. You can see that eight lotuses were there. Why these eight lotuses were there? Because it is representing the eight provinces of British India. At that time, Britishers were having eight provinces in India. So in order to show that eight provinces of Britishers, in they have kept eight lotuses in our flag and a crescent moon representing the Hindus and Muslims. So there is a crescent moon which is representing the relation between the Hindus and Muslims. That means accepting them also with it. So such a way by making the unity or in order to bring the unity, these people also made a new flag for us which is having the red, green and yellow color. Then we can see that it had 
all the things which we have discussed again we will be moving with we can see that in 1921 gandhi ji has designed a swaraj flag when we have reached into 1921 mahatma gandhi has come with a new tricolor flag which was again the red green and the white or saffron we say saffron white and the green we had a spinning wheel inside that was designed by mahatma gandhi then the during 1921 we have designed to have a national flag which is having a spinning wheel in the center representing gandhian ideal of self help why he has kept this spinning wheel inside the our flag self help the gandhian ideology of self help self help here means you need to eat from by your hard work you need to produce for yourself so you do your hard work and you fill your stomach so that is need to have this ideology of self help and after that we can see carrying the flag holding a alop during the marches became the symbol of de defense see when the marches were there the rallies were there demonstrations were there these people were keeping this flag and keeping with the flag and everything they had a particular enthusiasm when they were having now also we can see that it is when we see our national flag near to us when you take it respectfully in your hand you will also feel be having a national feeling when in the uh, 26 jan or in the 15th august when the independence day is celebrated in your school and everything a feeling of nation comes or by seeing that flag itself you will be having a feeling of nation so this flag has helped a lot and afterwards you can see that it is we have changed our present national flag by removing uh, this uh, spinning wheel we have come to with ashok chakra we have kept in this uh, wheel inside that you, are, you can uh, remember so these all are the way or these all are the way we can see that the national feeling came to the indians or sentiments of indians towards their nation the love towards their nation brought out by different different cultural activities not because of the disorder, civil disobedient movement not because any non cooperation movement more than civil disobedient movement more than non cooperation movement some cultural activities you can keep in your mind romanticism very well so then you will understand really what is the concept so which all are the activities cultural process which they have done in order to bring these people or in order to inculcate or nurture or bring out the national feeling among the people through this and everything so so many things which we have discussed in your three pages it is or two pages it is spread out in your textbook you can go through and you will understand very clearly i hope you understood everything i am very glad to you to announce you that it is this will be the end of this chapter nationalism in india with this video we are ending up and very detailed discussion we had i hope you enjoyed all these videos and you have to go through watch it again and again you watch it and you understand it and you will be very good you, i am very sure that it is you will be or it will be very helpful for your examination i hope so and i wish you a good luck see you with the next chapter bye